Hey everybody, here is the uh, instructional video for the question that you had on Canvas. For those of you who are not currently in my class, it's still useful when you're trying to fill in a consumption table. What we have here is we have the level of current income and the associated consumption amount. So this is a question before we really get into a consumption function, how we're really determining levels of consumption. To solve this, we do need to note a few things. The MPC is constant and taxes are equal to zero because technically we're talking a lot about disposable income. So we're just gonna either assume that this is disposable income or we just assume taxes are equal to zero. So income is disposable income. And we've got four questions that were given to you, right? We want to fill in this table. We wanna find the marginal propensity to consume, the marginal propensity to save, and the level of autonomous consumption. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I'm actually going to figure the marginal propensity to consume first because that's really the only way that we can fill in this table. And how do we figure out the MPC? Remember, that's how much is consumption changing with a change in my disposable income, right? Well, taxes are equal to zero. So we're just gonna look at how much is consumption changing so from here to here, divided by how much income changed from here to here. So consumption went up by $600 when income went up by $1,000. And therefore, we would say the MPC is equal to 6 over 10, or what we usually talk about it is in a decimal form, 0 0.6. So for every $1,000 that Y goes up, C is going to go up by 600 And it's going to stay the same because we have that assumption in here. MPC is constant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add 600 every single time to fill out the rest of this uh, diagram, the rest of this table. So add 600, I'd get $9,000, then I'd get $9,600, then I'd get $10,200. So we have filled in the table, check. We, fill, we figured out MPC, check. MPS, right, is always e gonna equal to one minus MPC. It's just the, uh, the, uh, the amount of savings is gonna be uh, just the opposite of the amount of consumption as a, as a percentage form, right? And so this is just going to be 0 0.4. So now we have our MPS check. Last but certainly not least is to figure out this level of autonomous consumption. In order to do that, we need to look back at our overall consumption function. So C is going to be C bar, our autonomous consumption, plus our level of MPC multiplied by our disposable income, or Y minus T. Now we just have to take any point here. Uh, let's go ahead and take this point, just because it has the, the least number of issues, right? Because it's just 9,000 and 11,000, we don't have to deal with like 400s or 800s. And so let's just take those two points and plug everything in that we know. We know that 9,000 consumptions equal to this C bar, which we don't know. That's our unknown, what we're trying to solve for. And the MPC we know is 0 0.6. We know that my income at that point is 11,000 and our taxes are zero. So what does this mean? This means 9,000 is equal to C bar plus 0 0.6 times 11,000 which we just continue, we see 9,000 is equal to C bar plus 6,600, so it's just 0.6 times 11,000. Feel free to use your calculator. And I'm gonna subtract 6,600, 6,600 from both sides. And what do I get? I take this and I get C bar is going to be equal to 24. You could do this exact same thing with any single one of these points. Any single one of these points. And if that's if you want to do that, right? If you want to do that, that would help you out to get extra practice with this type of question. So we've gone ahead and we filled in this table. We found the MPC. We found the MPS. And we just finished by finding autonomous consumption. If you have any questions on how to do this, feel free to send me a message and uh, make sure that you know what all of these terms mean, right? We didn't spend that time in this video. We didn't spend time going over CBAR, MPS, MPC, and you know, what all this kind of stuff means, taxes, what does it mean to be constant? We didn't go over that stuff in this video. 
check out other videos, check out your class materials to make sure you understand and not are just and are not just memorizing all of these terms.